quick, get over here, hurry up. Don't we? Boy, that's good. I just don't have enough time in the day, and I can't be waiting for you guys. It's a full service, and we're going to be here till noon at least if you don't get here in time. <laughs> Do I sound like your folks the past couple of days? Has it been busy around your house with Thanksgiving and stuff? And rush here, rush there, go out, do this, go out and do that. And, and mom and dad's get a little bit, saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What do we call that when they're patient? Mom and dad are impatient with you sometimes, right? So what do you do when uh, mom and dad say, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up? Maybe just what Zoe did, kind of slow down and go just a little bit slow. <laughs> yeah? How many of you sometimes get in, impatient when uh, you ask God for something and it doesn't happen right away? Do you get impatient with God sometimes? You know, this time of year, God says, I'm going to send you a special gift. I'm going to send you my son, Jesus. And I know, and you know too, that Christmas is what? How many days away? 25. 25? Well, probably 24 now, because we're halfway through. But yeah, 24, 25 days, something like that. I've got, I get so excited about that. I've got a, a deal on my cell phone that I can push on a button and it tells me how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds it is for Christmas Day. Woo! I'm ready to go. And I get impatient when things don't happen the way I want them to or they don't happen quickly enough or soon enough. And I think that's what most of us are like during this time of year. We're impatient because we want everything now. Do you feel like, like that? If you sat down with mom and dad and said, here's the things I would like to have for Christmas, you'd probably just like to have them now instead of waiting until December 25th, right? To get impatient. But God tells us to wait. God tells us sometimes to catch our breath and like, I got to do that sometimes during this time of year. Just slow down a little bit and don't rush. Don't run. Don't try and get everything done all at once. Just take a moment and catch my breath and be a little bit more patient. And then I stop to think about it. I say to myself, you know, I sure am glad that God is more patient with me than I am with God. Because sometimes I do some things that God might not be too happy with, but God is patient with me. And he says, you know, he's going to get it one of these days. He'll get this all figured out. And God does that with us too. God is a God of love and a God of patience. So, each Sunday, for the next four Sundays, including this one, we're going to be lighting candles in our Advent wreath up there in the front. And each one of those candles is going to stand for something very special. And today, the candle is the candle of patience. So, I'd like to have somebody help me with that. Let's see. We had a few lit candles already. How about if you help me with it this morning? Don't worry because you can be patient, the rest of you, because everybody's going to get a turn as, as this season goes on. Okay? So come on up. We're going to light this candle together. All right? This is the candle of patience. As we start the Advent season, and I will light this for you, and you can take that. Just light the top of this candle right there. Here we go. Thank you. And that's a reminder. We can listen down again how patient God wants us to be because God has been patient with us. So let's have a word of prayer. Gracious God, thank you for this time of year when we tend to rush in so many different directions and you call us to catch our breath and be patient and look for all the good things that you're doing in our lives and in our world. Open our eyes to see you in Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks, Adam. You can take your time seeking that piece of paper. Good morning. <laughs>